guys, so today I am doing a makeup tutorial for this look here. It is inspired by Bourne's new album that is coming out on the 12th of January. It's the 11th today, so that will either be tomorrow or depending on when I upload this. So I really love Bourne's and I'm so excited for his new album and basically I want to start a new series where every month I do a makeup tutorial and then a song cover based on an album that I love. So for the January I have picked this album because it's new and uh, yeah I really hope you guys like this look even if you're not a Bourne's fan I think this is still quite a cute fun look. So uh, yeah without further ado I shall start the tutorial. Also please subscribe if you haven't already. Okay I'm gonna start now. Bye. I'm going to start off this look with the eyes and then do the face afterwards. So I'm using tape to guard where I want my eyeshadow to be. I think that's pretty even. I am so prepared for this. I even made like a little like colour palette on my arm. Uh, but I'm going to put my sleeves on. I'm going to prime my eyes with Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer in shade 1 Fair. And I'm going to set it with some white eyeshadow. So we're going to go in with our lightest sort of beigey colour to match the suit. And I have picked the shade from the Makeup Revolution Ultra Flawless Shadows. This, I don't want, I don't want you to see my messy room. <laughs> this little beige shade, start putting that into the crease. I am using this Blush Professional 120 colour matte palette and basically it's like the standard rainbow palette like you can get these by so many different brands online. I'm going to be using mostly this shade here, this blue on white here and a little bit of this blue here. I'm going to go in with this brush here with a more brighter blue here and I'm just going to start applying a lot of that colour. Then I'm going to go into that other blue and just put that on the outer corner. Okay, so taking a shorter blending brush, I'm going to go into a beige colour again and just make sure that where the blue stops, it's really nicely blended out. I find it really helpful to wipe off your brush on some paper towel in between this so that any blue you've picked up from blending you're not putting back on so you can keep everything very clean. I'm going to go in with this colour here. It's like a beigey metallic -y colour. It is really pretty and I think that is a pretty good match for his suit so I'm just going to apply that with my fingertip in the inner corner and then blend it out. I just keep layering that until I'm happy with the colour. So now I'm going to do a winged eyeliner with the NYX Vivid Brights and this is colour Vivid Sapphire. So I'm pretty sure my right wing is far too long compared to my left wing, but uh, fuck it, we're just going to go with it. <laughs> Ooh. So I'm not that mad about it. I'm not that mad. Okay, so now I'm going to do the face and I'll come back to the eyes later. I'm just going to speed through this because I don't want to take up a lot of time in the tutorial talking about how I do my face. I have a other video you can go watch. to contour my face. I went a little bit heavy on 
the nose contour, but we can pretend that uh, I'm just a character in The Grinch and we can move on. Now I want to add a little bit of green and red from the Gucci suit. So I am going to be using these two NYX Vivid Liners in Fire, I think, Fire and Envy. And I'm going to do some cute little Gucci freckles. So here are my little freckles. I think freckles are so freaking adorable. I'm going to curl and mascarify my lashes. Okay, so for highlight, I'm going to use the Surf Does Nails Makeup Revolution palette. I'm going to use this gold colour as a sort of blush on the top parts of my cheeks. And then I'm going to use the white as a highlight on the top part of my cheekbone here. Then with a dense little brush, I'm going to use the white as my brow highlight. And I'm going to put the gold in my inner corners. I'm going to be applying a nude lipstick. And I have the Milani 60 Matte Innocence colour. I'm just going to put that on my mouth. To finish this look, I'm going to add a bit of gold glitter liner because there is some gold on the teacup and on the blue material in the background so I'm just going to add this to my inner corner highlight just for a little extra sparkle and gold and blue look so gorgeous together. So this is the finished look. I really hope you guys like it. I tried my best to incorporate all the colours but like I thought the most important one was obviously blue because it's called Blue Madonna and there's the whole background is blue and I think it's really cute. I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. Please subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. This is the start of a new series that I'm going to be doing every month. Yes, I really hope you guys will enjoy that and I shall see you in my next video. Also make sure to go check out Bourne's new album when it's out, which might be today or tomorrow. I don't know how long this video is going to take me to edit. Ah!